Hey YouTube, I uh, would like to just give you a quick update um, on my Dutch bucket system for raising mainly tomatoes. Uh, got all three rows filled now with uh, with the Dutch buckets. They're all four gallon, whether they're round or rectangular style. Uh, you can see the uh, aluminum foil that uh, I've covered the bottom of the buckets with. And, cover half of it and then turn around and cover the other half and use a, a tape, foil tape on the top and then also on the bottom just to kind of secure it and uh, that's to uh, keep the algae down, uh, keeping the light from coming in and it'd be nice if we had something on top that would do the same thing because a little algae will grow on top but anyway so we're making an attempt at that. Uh, just mainly the update is uh, uh, also to uh, mention that here in Arkansas we had a couple of nights it was getting down around 40 degrees it was actually predicted to be about 39 and then uh, <clears throat> but uh, it uh, it got right around 40.2 uh, and then the second night it got down to 39.4 had a digital thermometer out here and uh, just kind of watching the progress getting up every hour to see if it was going to be uh, necessary to move the plants back inside the garage and uh, well the thermometers lied and uh, these things really did get uh, some frostbite on them uh, so a couple of things and that I'm learning is that uh, you hear everybody talk about hardening off and uh, the uh, that's true because as soon as I put these out you can see the little uh, brown spots on the leaves well they began to uh, began to show signs of sunburn and uh, <clears throat> so that that was uh, one issue that I've had uh, just in getting these uh, tomatoes planted uh, this is a one I bought to sucker off and get additional plants from to celebrity in a three gallon pot and it's already putting on fruit it's got about five uh, tomatoes set on it already in two pods and other blooms coming on but uh, a couple of big beef uh, you may notice that the bird feeder is gone and uh, the reason uh, I put it in here to start with was to attract uh, birds in here to help help with the infestation that Arkansas enjoys of the Arkansas hornworm or the it's, it's actually a tobacco hornworm uh, but it attacks tomatoes just the same and so that's uh, that didn't work out. It attracted uh, raccoons instead, and they were climbing up to get to the feeder, and uh, broke down uh, some of the tomato plants. And then I, I moved it back here near the ground, and that didn't stop them. They got in some of these uh, plants in waiting in case I need them, uh, and they stomped on some of those plants and killed them. Some of them were just uh, top, turned over and were okay. But uh, that's a little bit update. Uh, we're uh, we're sure uh, have some plants that have gone through some major stress getting getting put out. And you can see this one right here. It's a little Rutgers, uh, pretty stressful. And then there's a, another one. Uh, let's see, that's a super sweet 100. It's doing quite well. Here's a celebrity. You can see if you look closely, you can see the little uh, green colored uh, rock wool. Um, uh, I don't know what you call them, the little grill cues, and uh, like I say, this one's a celebrity, and it seems to be doing quite well uh, for a uh, for a sucker. And <clears throat> anyway, a couple of bell peppers here, and uh, I have to have a jalapeno, of course. And anyway, we've got some earth boxes we may put out as well, but for right now, this is pretty well going to be it. Uh, today, I plan to drill holes in the uh, in the uh, drain lines and uh, get the nutrients headed back to the uh, nutrient uh, reservoir right over there and uh, <clears throat> then I'll be running the supply lines as well so the next update you'll possibly see that in in place uh, they're using about five gallons of water a day right now uh, I used 10 gallons yesterday but I, was, I put in a uh, three more buckets so it takes a lot of water just to fill one of these to get them started and uh, uh, 
several gallons each and then <clears throat> not near as much to keep them uh, to keep them hydrated and the solution flowing to them so anyway that's my update thanks for uh, tuning in and uh, hope you're having uh, good results with your gardening efforts